Hey, what's going on, y'all? We're going to talk about some light tackle, but before we get into that, we're going to do the prize giveaway. I did a video about a week ago, and the first one is going to be for the trip. So if you mentioned the word trip in your comment, then you are going to be entered to, to win the free guided trip. We're going to hit start raffle and see who it is. Shauna Clark. We loved our guided trip last time. Can't wait to do it again. Shauna, I remember it was you, you and your husband, I'm pretty sure, uh, and we fished close to the river that day. So you won <clears throat> another trip. So congratulations. If you would, email me your information. My email is cleanfunfishing at gmail.com. And, uh, and I'll get in touch with you and we'll set up a trip. Congratulations. So now we're going to go in there and put tackle... <clears throat> and there was some confusion it was supposed to it was my fault i tried to do, do two giveaways on one video so next time uh probably to be 5,000 subscribers i'll do another giveaway if i decide to do two giveaways again it'll have to be two separate videos so i'm so <clears throat> sorry for the confusion Jimmy Morris recently found your channel from Wolf's channel and really enjoy how you share your knowledge. I like learning new techniques with the tackle you use. Keep up the good work. So Jimmy Morris, you won the tackle. So Jimmy Morris, same thing. Send me an email with all your information, your phone number, and your address, and I will get these shipped out uh, pretty pretty quick. You know, so um, thank y'all for entering. All the comments were were really great, and I appreciate all of y'all. So the light tackle, uh, why would I want to go so freaking light for redfish and possibly speckled trout? Uh, mostly because sometimes sometimes they just don't want the bigger the bigger lures. So um, my lightweight tackle that I just got, and I'm not new to light tackle. I'm just new to light tackle with redfish. So I have a Falcon uh, clear water rod. It's seven foot. I would have preferred a seven and a half, but I couldn't find one. So a little bit, a little bit longer rod will cast a little further. It's made for uh, as light as one sixteenth ounce lures. So it's it's made to throw pretty light lures, and the action is uh, is medium light. The reel is a twenty five hundred Daiwa Exceller, and uh, my buddy Tom gave me a real good deal on that brand new reel that he won at a tournament. So uh, that's basically why I chose that brand. Uh, I don't use much spinning cast, but there are times when they they just don't really want the bigger lures. Uh, video a while back, I was fishing with my buddy Tom. We were sight fishing real shallow and I'm seeing tons of red, seeing their backs out of the water. And I'm bringing, I'm bringing that AM lure or four inch lure right in front of them. I did, I did hook up to four good slot reds, but uh, the amount of reds that were just looking at it and then running off uh, was, was, was pretty crazy. And my buddy Tom ended up catching 10 slot reds and he's using a little bitty lure such as this little bitty shrimp lure that I got. The difference between this size and your five inch soft plastics is pretty crazy. So. Uh, these I cast just fine, perfect with a bait caster, but these really, really, really light ones, it's impossible for me to cast with a bait caster. So, uh, so I went to that. Um, I forgot to tell you the line. I'm using 10 pound Power Pro braid, and I am using a 15 pound monofilament leader because that braid is so thin and so light that. Uh, it can be a pain in the butt. It can wrap around the hooks and stuff like that. So I'm using a leader on it and you want your drag pretty loose. Yep, he was following that bait. Oh, pushing that, pushing that bait through there. Oh boy. 
give that light tackle hell. <laughs> Because redfish are really powerful and 10 pound braid is, is pretty light, you know, a three or four pound red when he makes that hard pull, he can break 15 or 20 pound braid. So I've, I've seen it happen too many times with a drag that's too tight. So, so how, you know, how loose should you put that drag? You just want to be able to pull it by hand, you know, not real, real hard and, and not real, real easy. Just a little bit of tension on there. So so back to some of the lures um that little shrimp is is a chase bait it's made by chase bait uh flick prawn jr little bitty they come with a uh with a weedless hook already and if you've ever used the uh what the hell are they called z-man <laughs> you've ever used the z-man lures then you know how strong they are. Same thing with these with these flick bait prawns. I mean, they're real, real durable. You can pull them, and uh, they'll last a long time, which is good because this little package of two was like 14 bucks. And then I also got some voodoo shrimp lures, and they come with a weedless hook. And the weedless hooks are a one eighth ounce on these, so um you know pretty pretty lightweight the uh voodoo shrimp looks like that and the voodoo shrimp is still uh quite a bit lighter than than your five inch <clears throat> soft plastic so um i also got some gulp which i did throw the other day and caught a couple reds on it and the gulp is a really small lure too so in order to throw the light lures you just have to have a uh, really light tackle so it is a new technique for me for redfish um, but like i said i was a bass fisherman you know most of my life <clears throat> before i moved to the the salt water uh, about four years ago so um it's just it's going to be a lot easier to throw them so so the distance you're going to get trying to throw these is going to be better with with light lightweight with a lightweight setup <clears throat> but uh it's not going to be like throwing a top water where you're getting 130 feet so if i had to guess i'm getting maybe 80 feet maybe so um you know not very far the the sight fishing is is where this is going to pay off for me where i'm seeing the reds i'm just gonna have to ease up to them real quietly and uh and cast to to the reds that are a little bit closer to me i'm i'm so used to scanning the water about 100 feet that i always uh stay i'm always staying about 100 feet away from those fish but now i got to get a little bit closer to them a little bit more quiet trying to be as stealthy as i can to get to get to these these redfish so you know without spooking them they they sometimes just swim right next to you you look down and you're like you're like damn you know he didn't even see me or hear me so <clears throat> um but for the most part we want to try to be as quiet as we can so uh i don't like to miss out on an opportunity because i made a little bit of noise uh i try to try to be stealthy uh when i'm sight fishing plus we're talking about shallow water <clears throat> so you know shallow water i'm trying to be even more stealthy and shallow the deeper water if you're fishing five to ten feet you could probably drift right over the top of them and they never know it if they're towards the bottom but if you drift over them in uh, six to 12 inches of water they're gonna know and they're gonna take off so <clears throat> a uh, a spooked redfish will bite pretty often yep there he went <laughs> he hit it anyways even though i spooked him <laughs> so i always cast to those spooked reds and when they're in a, a, a feeding mood they just can't help it sometimes they gotta they gotta hit that lure so it's definitely gonna take uh, some practice with my accuracy it's just not the same i'm not used to throwing so light so you know it's one of those things that we have to practice with anything new and uh and with a little a little more practice you know i'll i'll be making some good some really good casts so i hope some of these tips were helpful thank you to everyone for 
for being a subscriber and for commenting on the last video. I appreciate all y'all. Thanks for watching and tight lines. There it goes. There you go. Oh, good one too. Good one.